Okay, what I'm going to show you how to do is set up your scan to email settings on a HP printer. So what you want to do first is log in to the IP address of your machine, um, typing it straight into an Internet Explorer page. Um, you can find out this IP address by uh, printing out the configuration page of your printer and on the configuration page it will have the IP address and you want to continue to this website this will bring up the actual login to the printer you want to go to the digital sending tab from there you're clicking on the email settings now you need to know who your internet service provider is so um, if you were with Big Pond it would be mail.bigpond.com and you would push test and it will tell you whether it's a valid server now we are not with Big Pond here, so this should come up saying that it's an invalid server when we test it. Um, but I know my SMTP, and that is an internal one. So if I go test, what you'll see is the printer will then just do a quick test email. It should come up here. It is a valid SMTP gateway server so now you can move on to the next step so it's very simple there um, ionet's one is mail.ionet.net.au um, so on and so forth so you just need to ring your provider or you can even google smtp settings for your relevant provider and put that straight into there click test as soon as you have it as a valid gateway basically you can move forward um, from here you just want to give the email address of the machine so I just call it MFP at you can call at ironet, at big pond, at qpca, whatever you want to call it, but basically I just call it MFP um, at, and then your provider. That way, when you receive your email addresses, this will be what, who it comes from. Um, the display name is just the name of the printer. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it your company name, whatever. This checkbox here, I normally do have checked if you don't want them to change the from address. So this is the from address here. They don't need to change that, so you might as well have that ticked. In the subject line, I generally just say, you have a scan from the HP printer. Um, so basically, well, this one says from the 740, 730. So if we just delete that from the HP printer, uh, now that'll be the subject line every time you get a scan. Finally, you want to click apply here. As soon as you click apply, then the email button will now be located on your printer. You can press email and away you go, scanning and sending um, PDF scans to whoever you want. Now, if you wanted to change the settings of your actual scans, you can click on advanced here. This will bring back um, your options of changing it to TIFFs, JPEGs, um, all these different settings which you can adjust, color, black and white, high resolution, low resolution. But if you just leave it on the default, It'll work perfectly. It'll um, it'll be clear enough to read and and scan pictures and that. But also the file size will be down. So bear in mind, the higher you create this resolution, and the higher you do this default file size, the bigger the files will be. Then if you have to scan a big document, it may be too big to go through your email servers, and it will get caught up. So just bear that in mind. Um, that's how you change your SMTP settings.